Question number 13. The figure below shows triangle XYZ. Uh, using a ruler and a compass, so we have our XYZ. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses, locate a point M on the triangle such that M is 2 cm from uh, YX. So M is supposed to be 2 cm from this line. So what we need here is a line uh, that, uh, that is parallel to uh, XY or YX. Uh, and is equidistant from lines uh, YX and YZ. Initial length of YM. So we are supposed to locate the, uh, the position of point M. So what we need is uh, we need to draw a line here that is parallel to, uh, to the YX which is uh, 2 cm uh, 2 cm that is from there and here then since we are told that M is equidistant from YX and YZ uh, if we want to achieve that you need to bisect this line so where so that at any one time uh, M will be somewhere there. So what you must follow the instructions. Uh, you you use a, a, a you use a ruler and a pair of compass. So take your ruler and uh, your compass here, and see how you you do that. Let's see let's see how you do that. We can achieve that to be able to get the line that is. Uh, we need uh, to have a, part, a perpendicular distance here where we will be able to get the two centimeter so we can uh, we can use a compass there and uh, be able to to draw two arcs like that like that then you take it to the other side and uh, you see how where we will get our our, our two mark so here you say that's another mark and uh, you make another mark here So that mark, uh, then uh, you use your ruler to, uh, to, 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 to draw a line there. Uh, so that line is perpendicular. This line will be perpendicular to, to our line. So you draw a line there. So from there, we, we draw a line. So that line is perpendicular to, you measure uh, from there you can now measure uh, two centimeters so you do a ruler you measure the point uh, two centimeter uh, from the line yx so this is where we have our our two our mark there for two centimeter that's where we have our mark now with that we for us to be able now again to to draw the we need to draw now a perpendicular line which will now be able to, will be which will be parallel to to our so let's add that line so that we will be able to to get the, the perpendicular line uh, you remove your ruler there and you bring in the compass so we are going to use that point uh, to, to make a perpendicular that will give us a line which is parallel to which is parallel to this uh, to, to x y so you make a mark there and uh, this will be you make a mark like that and on the other side you do the same uh, then uh, with that uh, you shift to a compass and uh, you now make uh, you now make two arcs here uh, that should be easy when you are doing it manually so we have that 
and we have uh, another arc there uh, then you shift your compass uh, to this other point and uh, you make uh, arcs there so we have uh, we have an arc there and uh, this uh, other arc here so with that then if we join the two points uh, then we have uh, we have a uh, we have uh, a line that is parallel to our yx so you put your ruler and you draw the line which is uh, which is uh, which is parallel so that line would be two centimeter from xy so that is the line so that is the line uh, so with that now uh, we need so this line is two centimeter from uh, the line y x then since we are told that uh, we, we the that uh, m is equidistance from y x and y z we bisect this angle and how do you bisect an angle you use your compass uh, so we bring our compass here and uh, that is our compass and to bisect an angle we make arc, two arcs here we make an arc there and uh, we make another arc there then we can use these two arcs here to to make uh, another arc that will help us bisect the angle and we also put uh, we also use uh, this other line and uh, we rotate it like that and uh, we make an arc there uh, we can uh, we can extend this one we can extend this one so that we get the the correct arc point so we get it there so that way we have bisected our we have bisected our our angle so you bring your ruler here and you you bisect that you draw that line which you bisect the angle so that is the line okay so we now draw a line we draw a line that is bisect the angle so with that now you can see now we have obtained uh, the the m this is a, this is our m and you are told to uh, to draw to, uh, to to measure uh, the length of im if you do it correctly you be you find ym is equals to uh, 4 uh, plus or minus that is uh, you can say uh, 4.0 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter so that is a procedure that you follow when you are doing that question and you get your still three marks